baseball fans and welcome MLB the show with a good one coming at you it's the Los Angeles Angels taking on the New York Yankees and we'll be back with the first pitch right after this just about set to go now today's starting pitcher Garrett Cole it's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Okay, all set to go. Now the left fielder, Taylor Ward. Ward. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. Volpe makes the catch, and there's one gone. Here's Mike Trout, outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Swings and misses. That's strike one. Fooled on that pitch, got a little anxious. And it's fouled away. Mike Trout, just a special player, a special human, does everything well on the baseball field and seems to do it as well off the field. Next offering is fouled back. I think with Mike Trout, when you consider all the awards, the wins above replacement, he's on a trajectory if he stays healthy, that he'll end up as one of the greatest position players of all time. And he beats the throw very close right there. One down. Now it's Hunter Renfro. Cole a check to first. Trout back in standing. And that one fouled off. At the belt and fires. Swings through that one for strike two. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. And that's ripped into left. Base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second now one out. That is good. So first and second with one man gone. Here's the third baseman, Anthony Rendon. In the air to left center. Judge is under it. Squeezes it. Runner tagging for third. And he moves up a base. So two away with runners at the corners. Brandon Drury to the plate. The first baseman, number 23, Brandon Drury. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Trout at third. Renfro on at first with two down. In the dirt. Nothing happening on the bases, though. And down on strikes he goes. Huge strike out there. She'll strand a couple, and now the Yankees will see what they can do. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. DJ LeMay here to start things off. Rendon, throw to first. One up, one down. It's Aaron Judge now. Out to short. Urshela to first in time. And two quick that outs in the bottom of the first, the first here tonight. Baseman. And Anthony here Rizzo. is Anthony Rizzo. Rizzo. In there for strike one. Out towards left center. Ward drifts towards it. And puts the squeeze on that. And that is the third out of the inning. One, two, three, go the Yankees. We played an inning, no score. Top of the second, and now the DH, Shohei Otani. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Chris, you look at Garrett Cole, and he changed in terms of his profile. He threw a lot of sinkers when he was with the Pirates, when he went to Houston. Everything changed, more four-seamers and more reliance on the breaking ball. 
Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And there's one away. Here's Gio Urshela. And first offering is fouled off. Yeah, you credit the analytics and just the great system that the Astros have notoriously had in terms of helping pitchers really discover their potential. But, yeah, he's got a great fastball. He's very confident in it, but sometimes that can also hurt him, giving up a lot of home runs. Got him. Now two out. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Luis Rangifo now at the plate as he swings through strike one. And there's a foul ball. Got him! And how about that? It's an immaculate inning. We head to the bottom of the second. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. Sandoval back to work. That one missed. One of the things to remember about Giancarlo Stanton, only six players took fewer games to reach 350 career homers. That's impressive. Foul ball. Here's a 1-1. Fought off foul. Kicks and fires. That one is hammered right field. Back there. And that one is out of here. John Carlos Stanton blasts one out to the opposite way. The Yankees score first. It's 1-0. That's an incredible job of letting that breaking ball get deep, trusting your hands, and driving it out the other way. That's how you practice it in the cage. Incredible when you can translate it into the ball game. Labor Torres up to the plate. Hard hit right side. He'll do it himself. That's and out. that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. That now it's Josh Donaldson's turn to hit. First pitch just misses. Foul ball there. Next one misses at a count two and one. Ball Next three. offering is outside. Full count. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Next offering is in for a strike. There's a strike. One, two. To the right side. Tosses to first. And Hicks is out. And that is that. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. Back here at the ballpark. New inning getting started. Stepping in the long ball threat. Logan Ohapi. And first offering is fouled off. When Cole's brother-in-law, Brandon Crawford, took him deep, Cole signed a pair of spikes for Brandon Crawford, one that said adios oh, pelota and the other one that said out of here. Yeah, calls by the great John Miller and Dwayne Kuyper of the San Francisco Giants. The 0-2. Out to short, Volpe. Leadoff hitter Lead gone out. in the third. So in now for the Angels, Taylor Ward. He's 0 for 1. 
strike one. Ward goes six foot one, 200 pounds, a former first round pick back in 2015. This one in the air right field. And that one gets down, fair ball. The throw in, in there safely. Seeing some good swings from him right now with consecutive extra base hits. With a pitch away, that's exactly what you want to do with it. Drive it the other way. And right there, just barely able to keep it fair down the line for the double. Trout can't hold up, and that's a strike. One out and a runner at second. He swings and fouls one off. Got him! That's out number two. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. He tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. That one is absolutely belted. Way back. And forget it. Hunter Renfro hits one out. Just like that, they move in front. It's 2-1. He sent the first pitch over the wall. Must have dinner reservations because he wasn't wasting any time at the plate in that at bat. So two away with nobody on. And next for the Angels, Anthony Rendon. And first offering is fouled off. Riding to the plate. They say it went. No ball. Two strikes. Next offering is fouled back. And a pitch. In the dirt. Throw to first. In time. So the drop third strike doesn't hurt him. And that's that. But two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two-run homer. As we go to the last of the third, here's Jose Trevino. And a foul ball. Sandoval. In his third season, he features a slider, a changeup, a four-seamer, a two-seamer, and he occasionally uses a curve. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. Looking for the K. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Got him looking. Clip the bottom of the zone with a curve for strike three. Now that Back to the top of the Yankee order. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit. First time up, he grounded to third. See, DJ LeMayhew, really good hitter, but as well, defensive versatility. And fittingly enough, he's the first winner of the Gold Glove Award that went to a utility player. He won it in 2020. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. So the Yanks go in order. And our score remains 2-1. Back in the Bronx. Start of the fourth. So in now for the Angels. Brandon Drury. Brandon. Yeah, the right hater back to work. And a big swing and a miss. Check swing, but he went too far. 0 oh and 2. Got him. One gone here. Here's Shohei Otani. Struck out on just three pitches last time. 
Otani. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Singy, four homers in 22 games at Old Yankee Stadium. What do you remember? Well, I remember my rookie year hitting two in one game. And, you know, before that game in the clubhouse, there was a gentleman there who owned a suit company there in downtown Manhattan. And he said to me, hey, kid, you hit a home run in the game tonight. Come over to the store tomorrow, and I'll give you a free suit. Goes down looking. Two outs, space is empty. Gior Shella steps in. Three-pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight oh. in this one. And that's in there for strike no one. So I went into the game. I happened to hit two. When I walked into the store the next day, and he looked at me and said, you're trying to put me out of business. Swings here and blasts one left field, and it hits the base of the wall. And he's in at second with a two-out double. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Luis Renjifo gets a chance to hit here. And first offering is fouled off. So did Super Joe give you two suits? Super Joe hooked me up with two suits. Next offering is fouled back. Two outs. Swing and a miss, and that is that. I think the key is our... Welcome back. John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Aaron Judge. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Chris Judge has been an exit velocity monster, leading the league in exit velo in 17, 18, 19, 21, and 2022. Yeah, he makes that hot corner at third base. The next no, offering misses. Gone. Two and one. Swung on, belted. Back there. And that one is gone. Aaron Judge blasts one out the opposite way. And we are starting over. It's 2-2. When you see a guy take a slider on the outside part of the plate and hit an opposite field home run, fires you up because not only is he flexing the muscles to show the pop, that kind of approach you'll hit for a high average as well. Rizzo batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Hit it well, but fly it out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Going two now. Liner, base hit. All over that one right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. The 0-1. Little chopper rolls foul. The 0-2. One, two. Rudder at first with no outs here. Line, and that's a base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. A couple of singles back to back. Good extension on that swing. Took the pitch on the outside part of the plate and drove it up the middle. He let it travel just enough. One that up. hits the dirt, and that's ball one. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. Rizzo at second. Stanton at first with no outs. In the dirt, but kept close. Count moves to two and two as the runners hold. He goes down looking. 
Fastball inside just freezes the hitter. I don't think he was ready to pull the trigger. A lot of times hitters are looking away, and that one locked him up. Here's Josh Donaldson. Struck out looking in his first at bat. Next offering is down low. 1 and 0. Oh. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Next offering is in for a strike. Two on, one out. So now one and two. I'll tell you this, that's going to go on that pitcher's highlight reel. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. One out. Runners at first and second. And that's a strikeout looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. So first and second with two outs. Taron Hicks now. A switch hitter batting right. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Now a wanted one. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Jack swing. No appeal. Two and one. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Had him out front for strike three. Ready now for the fifth inning. Here's the Angels catcher, Logan O'Hoppy. Cole back to work. Popped up. That one gets down for a hit. And that turns the lineup over. Well, that's one of those knocks where you almost expect to get some jabs from your teammates when you get back to the dugout. He probably would have been able to drive that pitch on the outside if he let it just get a little deeper and look to hit it to the opposite field. But he made it work out. Digging in, Taylor Ward. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Oh, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Didn't try to do too much with it. Just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with guys trying to launch and hit home runs. But sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. A chance now to take the lead. And at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. First and second here, no outs. Well, pretty clear to me, he was trying to go deep right there. But you got to get a pitch that you can handle. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Oh, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable at the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. They'll have some adjustments to make. The pitch. Check swing went around. That's strike two. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. Yes, he did. Down he goes on strikes. So first and second with two outs. So now the angel cleanup hitter, Anthony Rendon. Ball one, no strikes. Ohapi, the lead runner out at second. Ward at first, two out of the inning. Next offering is fouled back. In there. And so now one and two. Some heat there at 98 miles an hour. So they strand a pick. Back for more from the Bronx. Bottom of the inning. And now the catcher comes up to him. Jose Trevino. Trevino. And takes low for ball one. You know, these Yankees being a little too patient at the plate in this game. I'm surprised with all the strikeouts looking we've seen from them. Sometimes you get fooled up there, but it's just happening too often right now. Ward balls it in, and there's one away. Volpe, batting with one down, takes a strike. 
next offering is in for a strike. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Got him swinging. Well, he made pretty quick work of him right there. You look at the sequence, everything down at the knees and below. And some guys are good low ball hitters, but right there, they clearly had a plan to pound that part of the zone, and he wasn't able to put up much of a fight. You won. Good well, eye right there. Singy DJ LeMahieu earned a pretty cool distinction when he won the American League batting title with the Yankees in 2020. He became the first player in the modern era to win a batting title in both leagues. Remember, he won with the Rockies the batting title in the National League in 2016. On the ground, Rangifo to first, out number three. Three up, three down for him there. We're through five. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And now, Brandon Drury. Cole, back to work. And that's just foul. There's a strike. Drury tries to hold up, appeal to first, and that's going to be ruled a swing. A big performance on the mound, lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. Yeah, clearly trusting his stuff in this one, Boog. Feeling really good about what he's working with, and that really allows a guy to attack hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. And fouled off. Catcher tosses the mask, settles under it, puts the squeeze on that one, and yeah, there's two away. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there, and I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrating with himself until his next at bat. Line drive, base hit, and that extends the inning. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Greg Hefo. Now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. There's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Right-hander kicks, deals. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Urshela leads off first with two down to the inning. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third. Back in the Bronx. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. And here it comes. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Renfro makes the catch. One up, one down. Up next to the Yankees. Anthony Rizzo the steps to the plate. Anthony. Really good piece of hitting last time. Go to the opposite field. And a strike in there. Boog, when we talk about Anthony Rizzo defensively, one of the things I like as a former outfielder is his ability to handle foul territory and just negotiate that sidewall to make some incredible catches. Over to first. Two up, two down. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. He's already homered in this game. First offering, and it just misses. 1-0. Pitch misses there. Two balls and a strike. Two and one the count now. He hasn't seen a fastball yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher no. wants this to go to a 3-1 three three count. One strike. Two down, nobody on. In the air, foul off first, and that's a foul ball. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Fouled off again. 
And it remains three and two. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Now he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Here comes a pitch. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Down in order, Golden. We go to the top of the seventh. Here's the catcher, Logan Ohapi. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. And he's down 0-2 as oh, he swings geez. through it. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. That's down. One hops off the wall. Throws to second. In safely with a leadoff double. Go-ahead runs in scoring position. Now, a lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. Now a good opportunity to potentially jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. Righty delivers. They say it went. No ball. Go ahead, run in scoring position. Nobody out. Got him. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Here's Trout. In there, and it's 0-1. Out there to center. He's under it. Makes the grab. Two down. Now Hunter Renfro at the plate. He's already homered here in this one. That one's in there. 0 and 1. Next offering is fouled back. Two down. Go ahead, run. It's scoring position. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. The pitch. Got him! And we stay tied as the inning ends. So no runs here in a base hit. Back at Yankee Stadium. And now it's going to be Glaber Torres. Glaber Torres. And he deals. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That one fouled off. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a ball oh, evens the count. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. And a pitch. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Now at the play. Josh. Now the Angels manager is out of the New pitcher in the game for the Angels Jimmy Hergen He's into the game with the bases empty Jimmy Misses inside Ball one Ball. 
swings through that. Oh, well, that's that slurf right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Two. There's the strike. One, two. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And now two gone. Aaron Hicks at the plate. And that one fouled off. The old one. Ripped to third, but handled. And that'll end the inning. Yanks held. Now on the bump, Matt Crook. Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate. The pitch. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. And that's a strike. Well, a good slider from an opposite-handed pitcher has to stay in that tunnel just a little bit longer. Otherwise, recognition can cause... Oh. Struck him out looking. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick because word will get around the league in a hurry. And that's in for a strike. Double-barreled action in the bullpen. Number 97 getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Peralta getting cranked up as well. Got him looking for the strikeout. Clip the bottom of the zone with a curve for strike three. Well, that'll make you smile out there on the mound or maybe pump out your chest a little bit farther. That's about as good of a backdoor curveball as you'll ever see. Right on the black and not surprisingly, just locked him up in the box. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Guy out there sees a power hitter take that kind of swing. He's got to be thinking, is this guy trying to set me up? Swing and a miss, struck him out. It's an immaculate inning. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff. Back at Yankee Stadium, and here's the catcher, Jose Trevino. Jose. Swings and misses. Strike one. Well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. Oh, and two now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Here's the 0-2. Stays alive. And the righty deals. Ground ball, left side, and foul ball. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. The 2 Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really oh. hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. One down, base is empty. Ground ball up the middle. He dives, but he can't make the catch. He decides to eat it, and he reaches safely. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Up to the plate steps D.J. LeMayhew. The 0-1. And a swing and a miss there. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Next offering is foul back. Down the line, and it's foul. And the pitch. Grounder might be two. Ring Hifo to second, and that's two. Pitcher made the pitch. All set for the start of the inning. Gio Urshela to the plate. 
Crook back to work. That's in for a strike. Oh one. Check swing and he held up. One one now. And a strike. And down on strikes he goes. Now one away. And next for L.A., Luis Rangifo. Strike one. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. And a swing and a miss. And he's gone for the fourth time tonight. Well, right now, he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. I mean, it doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy on the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. Owen oh, two as he waves at that one. He's been great in this one. Eye-hand coordination just failed him a little bit right there. Oh, happy. Checks his swing. Now it appealed to first. Yes, he did. That's a swing. So, no run. Back now in the Bronx. Bottom nine. And stepping in for the Yankees, Aaron Judge. That one misses. Ball one. The line to kick the pitch. And a count one and two. The pitch. Bows that off to the left and we'll do it again. Fouls it off, still one and two. The pitch. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. Right-handed reliever. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. And that drops foul. This is something else. Running that pitch count off, I can't imagine how frustrating it must be for the pitcher to have so many good pitches spoiled off like this. The one-two. Here's a high fly ball out to center. He's under it. And out number one on the grab. Anthony Rizzo. Here comes Ryan Tapera to the hill. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Number 52. First pitch, and he just misses. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Well, that was an important at-bat in this game, so great job there stepping up to the challenge. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. At the belt and fires. Swing and a foul straight back. Righty to the plate. And that's Rick for a base hit. Now it rolls down into the corner. Rowe comes into third. Save! 
Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Now with the winning run at third, they're looking for a ball to the outfield, but that inning ending double play is in order. That one lifted to left. He's under it. Makes the grab. Here comes the runner from third. Row not in time, and they walk it off. A 3-2 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.